But, however, I took a look at everything that's going to be coming up in the, in the next month. Okay, I took a look at the schedule. I took a look at uh, the new releases and the stuff that I'm looking to accomplish. And I said, holy shit, like, I'm not going to have any time between now and the end of the month to really do anything. Because I'm going to have to live stream every single day. There's so many new releases and I'm going to probably be doing reviews all the time. Maybe first impressions videos, vlogs here and there. I'm going to be jam-packed busy this week. Or this uh, month, excuse me. And because of that, I said, you know what? Before we, we get into that crazy-ass non-stop marathon. Alright? Um, I want to take a day where I can get stuff done. And the bottom line is there's a lot of stuff that I need to, to get done that I have not had a chance to do. How's it going, everybody? I'm Mighty Tevin here. Uh, I just want to start by saying I love how a nonstop crazy marathon is him playing games the same amount a day as he currently plays games. So instead of playing games for, you know, more time. I got to I got to understand if he was like, "Oh, because all these new games coming out, I'm going to have to stream more." He's going to stream the same amount of times. Same amount of hours, too. But it's a crazy marathon. How? I don't know, as DSP. But uh no guinea pig cam this week. I'm working on some other stuff that has nothing to do with YouTube. So, uh yeah. And I'm doing some rearranging shit in my room right now so the pig's not in there. Very disappointed about that cuz my room is fucking dead without the guinea pigs in here. Apparently, it's some kind of complaint, by the way, for to have guinea pigs in the video. But a lot of uh, new people showed up last week because of the stupid uh, DSP jacking off situation. And uh, if you're here again, hey, how's it going? You're probably not, and uh, it's all right with me. But uh, as they say, it is what it is. Let's continue. Um, and I was talking with Leanna about oh, it. Oh, yeah. Um... Easy way to explain the last week for DSP. To be honest, it's been pretty much nothing. He'd been playing um, Hype Watch. What is it called? Overwatch? Yeah, he'd been playing Overwatch. Hello, everyone. Wait for it. Hello, everyone. And he'd been playing Overwatch. Uh, he went back to Persona 3. He started Mafia 2. And I think that's pretty much it. His channel kind of boring right now. Yeah, that's pretty much it. He didn't even stream today because he had to um, do real life stuff, basically. I mean, it's. I guess you might as well not stream a whole day when you have to do stuff like go out to the store. I, I don't know. I don't understand DSP sometimes. It's like he only stream about five hours a day max. And he can't do that sometimes because he's doing something else. But it's streaming is his job and... Whatever. It, it, it's, it's nitpicking. Uh, yeah, another thing I wanted to point out before we uh, get too far into this. This should legit be a short video because there's really nothing for me to talk about. It's this one pre-stream that's kind of entertaining in an actual uh, weekend preview. And I wanted to watch the video I wanted to watch last week. And I thought about it before I started recording this video. I said to myself, if I play that video... The dude might actually be pissy enough to um, try to get my video taken down. And I don't feel like being bothered with that. Because if somebody actually take time out of their day to make a video saying to not bully DSP, you would probably not want to watch that video on your video. Because they might be sensitive enough to file a takedown strike. Just saying. Speaking of takedown strikes, this is a channel that... um cropped up I don't know uh, like four or five days or so ago that uploaded about 60 of my videos so far not even just DSP videos like my gameplay videos just completely re-uploaded them use the same title and everything it's really fucking weird and really fucking awkward and I have no idea why someone would do that and they're probably watching this right now I don't know why you're doing it I really don't care I don't have ad revenue on my videos I'm not making anything off of these and the majority of the views I get, unless something really happened that people care about, come from people that's already subbed to me anyway at this point. It's not like DSP is some kind of 
viral thing and if you talk about them no matter what you're going to get 8 million views it's not like I'm talk talking about PewDiePie or something which is why it dumb I I'm dumbfounded when people say I'm using DSP for views but uh, I'm kind of rambling a little bit something I wanted to point out look at the views for these videos from DSP Overwatch got a lot of views but Overwatch I called it Hype Watch for a reason people really fucking like Overwatch right now but uh, his pre-stream look at his pre-stream views dude his pre-stream views are fucking insane. A thousand views, two thousand views for this one. A thousand views for that. Before his jack-off situation, DSP was probably getting like six hundred views at max for a pre-stream. But people going to his channel after seeing uh the um, drama alert video and they seeing that the stream will be starting shortly. Thing was on the stream on the screen. So they go to his old pre-streams and try to find it because they're stupid and they think that it's in one of his pre-streams and not just a video on YouTube. But, uh, <laughs> sorry for calling random people stupid, but look at this. 700 views, 800 views, 642 views, 800 views. His pre-streams get like no views. And then after the Jagoff situation, 1,800 views. 1,700 views. Almost 4,000 views for this pre-stream. Are you fucking serious? Almost 4,000 views. Likes and dislikes. Now you can make your game. That's like more than fucking some of his playthrough videos. It's ridiculous. For some reason, he uh, forgot to disable viewing the likes and dislikes for this one. I'm going to like the content. I like that comment. Sup. You can't see it. Let me uh, get it on screen. Sup. It's a hot comment because DSP uh, replies to YouTube comments. Oh, but Tiffany, you don't reply to a lot of YouTube comments. Uh, fuck you. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just fucking around with you. And she was like, going. well, can we cram it in today? And I'm like, I don't think so, because the movie that we're going to see, Captain America, is only like two hours after my stream... Well, let me take that back. It's three hours after our, my stream ends, but it takes me about an hour to upload the videos and get changed and get ready to go out. We gotta get food between when the stream ends and when the movie starts. We gotta do grocery shopping, we gotta do a lot of stuff. So... Dude, these are not even first world problems. These are like... <laughs> I can't even classify these as first world problems. I can't watch a movie in time because I'm gonna be too busy uploading videos to my YouTube account. By the way, I do YouTube as a job. I'm gonna be too busy uploading YouTube videos to my YouTube account. And, and I have to go out and eat. Because if I don't go out and eat, I'm just going to starve. I have to go out and eat before I go to the movies. You know, Holy I was shit, thinking, yeah, probably not. I probably won't have any time to do any of this stuff that we need to do. So, uh, it looks like tomorrow... <clears throat> tomorrow, I will not be live streaming. Tomorrow, I will be taking some time to focus in on getting some stuff done that needs to get done before the crazy marathon of gaming happens this month. All the new releases. You may not be aware... Marathon, even though he's gonna play games the same amount of time he always plays games, but it's a marathon. I don't know the crazy amount of works. Well. Why are you giving me that face? Panda Lee came in her room, by the way. Listen to this. This month, all the new releases. You may not be aware. It's always oh, hype when the Panda crazy come amount in. of releases. Well. Why are you giving me that face? I'm hearing all this we, but it turns out usually it's me. Unless you're whipping out fucking Mario Party, I don't know where all this we is suddenly coming from. I'm talking about myself and the viewers. Yeah, well, I'm talking about the running the errands. It's always this we. We do all the errands together. Listen to her voice. Oh, uh, it's so nasty. You're talking about we. It's always this we. Uh, you me we don't go grocery awful. shopping together. We yeah, don't go do all this stuff together. That's about the extent of all right, well, anyway, let me get back on track here. Just to give you guys some perspective on how crazy busy this month is going to be, all right? Like Monday night, I'm doing a special uh, midnight launch, slash, not really midnight, because I'm on the West Coast, it's always 9 p.m., uh, launch of Uncharted 4, okay? That's going to be pretty fun, mm -hmm. two hours or so of story-based mm -hmm. content when it releases on PSN. <laughs> story -based I'll be playing content. Uncharted Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so I'll probably, the way I'm thinking I'm going to do it is maybe early, early stream will be story, and then maybe second stream will be multiplayer. Now, I don't know if people are going to really turn out for the multiplayer. Usually, I play it once or twice and people kind of get bored of it. Although, I played the beta of Uncharted 4 and I really enjoyed the multiplayer. It's a third-person <clears throat> shooter. 
So, I think that's going to be fun all week. You know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Story and multiplayer yeah, like balance. And then, of course, once I complete it, I'll be reviewing it. the game. <laughs> and then this coming Friday, Doom comes out. So, again, story, multiplayer. Um, I don't play as much on the weekends, so it's going to be kind of extended. Doom will be kind of uh, stretched out a little bit over the weekend, <clears throat> heading into the, the next week. And that'll be fun. Of course, I'm going to review that, too. Then the next week of May, we've way. got like an early uh, Homefront The Revolution, which Jesus I'll be checking Christ, out for a few days. Fast fall, fast fall. Uh, I skipped the last one, but this one... Um, Wait, features, what? but it wasn't really necessary to even play the game. It seemed like, really, you could play it like Fallout 3, and you didn't really need to do any crafting or anything like that. So in that regard, uh, I skipped the last one, but this one, honestly... Oh, you, mean Fallout, and then, uh, you mean the Fallout 4 DLC? I don't care about Fallout. And the week after that, we've got the official retail release of Overwatch, which, I'll be honest, I'm a little skeptical about <sighs> because... It seems like most reports are saying that if you played the beta, you've pretty much played the whole game. Um, you know, so all 21 slotted. characters that were in the beta will be the only characters in the retail release. Now, I actually heard that there was a closed beta before the beta that started this week, <laughs> and that one actually had more multiplayer beta modes. before the beta. So I'm wow. thinking oh, more gosh. modes will probably be added into the retail version, but how many, no one really knows. So we'll see, I guess. Um... You know, we'll see what happens in that regard. I'm, I'm, I'm I definitely want to check it out. I'm just, I'm wor what I'm honestly worried about with Overwatch is I'm gonna buy this game for sixty bucks. I'm gonna play it for a day, and everyone's gonna be like, "Well, we already saw this." You know, when you played it in early May, and I'm like, "Well, it's sixty bucks that no one cares about this game, and what do I do with it now?" You know. Uh, so I guess we'll see. I'm, I'm curious to hear more information over the month. I'm sure as we get closer to the actual release, we'll get more oh, info about what's in over. it. But if the beta was the final game, that's pretty stupid in my opinion. Yeah, um, it kind of is. But I digress. Somebody on Twitter compared this to Street Fighter V, by the way. Somebody tweeted him and was like, Oh, what about Street Fighter V? The beta was the whole game of that. You got to play all the characters. And I'm thinking to myself, the beta didn't have story mode. And the beta didn't have Fang. And also, if you want to be really specific and petty about it, you can say the beta didn't have Gal, and the beta didn't have Alex. But Street Fighter, but it's, it's all the same thing. And DSP didn't even defend it because he's so dumb, and he don't really care about Street Fighter Five. I'd, I'd fucking defend a game more than him at this point. But I don't know. Uh, somebody go get mad at me for saying that. Uh, somebody. Uh, then later on, everything. we've also got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game from Platinum Games. I don't know how that's going to be received, considering uh, the Ninja Turtles movie was pretty much massively panned. No one liked it. No one the liked Chinese. it. I don't know why the Chinese love Michael Bay movies, but apparently they do. Um, but that's coming out that week, and then the last week of May, we've got a new One Piece game or not. coming out. That could be pretty interesting. Not sure uh, what exactly you know when that's going to happen, but I would like to try to play Persona Three if I could. There's also <laughs> could. other games. You know, we have potential that there could be other episodes. You know, you got Minecraft. Oh, by the way, last week and probably the week before that, I was like, no, there's no fucking way he's going to finish Persona Three. The game is too long for no reason. It's got a lot of filler. It's a huge ass time waste and a lot of parts. I recently beat Persona Three Portable, but I f I did not take into consideration the fact. This motherfucker playing Persona 3 on easy. And I watched some of his last Persona 3 videos, and he is way far into the game. So if he put, well, not way far into it, but he a good bit into it. If he play maybe, I don't know, maybe like 20 more hours, he could be there. Story maybe. mode, which is supposed to continue at some point. You've got on. Hitman, if which we may or may not get a new episode of. We've got Street Fighter V. Which may or may not get a new character or new content. We don't know what's going to happen content. with all this stuff. It's not. So this is a very, very busy month for me. In fact, it's probably so far this Am year the busiest no, month. Muted. And because of that, I realized I was looking at the schedule. I'm like, holy shit. You know, I'm not going to have a chance to game where I'll be interactive with the stream chat. and I'll be I still don't understand his logic. He streams every day for about four hours. And most of the time he play at night. For about two hours. I don't understand how this month is more stressful 
and more content packed than last month. If you play games the same amount no matter what, how does one month have more content and more whatever from you than another, another, another month? I don't fucking get it. That's like if I say, oh, uh, DSP played Battlefield 1 today, so my video is going to be four hours. It's going to be four hours long instead of one hour long. It has nothing to do with that. I, I don't know. I'm, that's a really bad example. I, I, I just don't understand it. I don't understand his logic with that. And uh, by the way, you get a free avatar item from Old Spice. <laughs> Give your avatar an Old Spice t-shirt on Xbox uh, Live. That's a lot like, of the new cards from the new expansion, Whispers of the Old Gods. If today doesn't go as, you know, as swimmingly as I... BTW, Hearthstone popular as fuck. But um, he thinking about playing the Hearthstone expansion. The Hearthstone expansion, what, a week old? Two weeks old now? He probably already played it on his phone anyway. Hope. And, you know, I end up only finishing a couple chapters, and then Monday will be the conclusion of Mafia 2. And as I've already said, we'll have the premiere of Uncharted 4 Monday night. Hype, hype, hype. Okay. I'm Whew. not hype. I don't care so about that. There was a lot to talk about for this month. I never even beat the first game. A lot going on. <laughs> Hope you're ready it for it. it. Hope you're excited for all the new releases. I'm pretty excited. Okay. Coming out Monday, the conclusion of the franchise. What else to hey. talk about? Probably going to start up with my gratuitous plugs segment, which won't be long. long. I'm going to do it very quick today, because I do want to get into Mafia 2 as quick. The plugs are going to be quick. I'm 15 minutes in the video, and the video is 22 minutes long. ...as possible here, and see how far we can get in the game. All right. Um, so first off, if you enjoy my daily live streams, you enjoy my on-demand videos on all of my YouTube channels, and you want to see it continue, you want to see me be able to provide you with free... Free. Fun video content every ads, single though. day. There are many ways which you can and help you have to, pay for the to internet, support the business. Mm -hmm. First off, obviously spreading the word. <laughs> Spread the word. Oh, I just got an email. Hold on. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, oh, would speed. you like a free copy, a promotional copy, review copy? I was like, ugh, I just bought it. <laughs> I can't do anything about that. Yeah, would you, would you pre-order... He got offered a free copy of uh, Uncharted 4, which is quite hype, but he already bought the game because for some reason he feel like he should pre-order these games. I do not know why, but for some reason he pre-ordered Uncharted 4. Like, if I was a Let's Player and I was moderately known, I would be pre-ordering shit like Monday at 4 p.m just in case I get a free copy So then on PSN, it. good luck getting your money back. It's a lot of work. So I was like, it's, you know, thanks, but no thanks. I got no money no back thanks. on PSN before. Not much I could do about that, but anyway. I, I won't say this. how I did it, but I did it. Uh, if you like my <laughs> daily stuff, first of all, social media. Twitter, at they call me DSP, or Instagram, they call me DSP. You can spread the word about that, and people who follow me on there, you're going to get daily live stream or daily live streams, daily schedule updates regarding my live streams and my on-demand videos. Wow, I schedule there. updates, that's fucking In addition, right. I tweet from time to time about various stuff going on in the world, various stuff going on in pop culture, video games, etc. Um, pop culture. The only pop culture DSP tweets about is wrestling. Unless he talking about something I don't know about. So it's fun to follow me on there, and if you do follow me and you retweet and favorite my stuff, it helps, because social media presence is key to online success these days. Also, there's an Amazon Associates link in the description of all of my streams and videos. If you click on that link and you Amazon shop on link. Amazon, we go. as usual, if you live in the United States, I will actually get some referral credit. If you live outside the United States, it doesn't really do anything. So, Rip. no real reason to do it there, okay? Okay. Um, what else? So well, Patreon, patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. Mm -hmm. If you want to go the extra mile, uh, that is the way to do it. You know, some people say, oh. gee, do you accept donations? Yeah, Can I send you physical stuff? And I say, no, not really, but uh, Patreon is a way for you. Patreon is donations. To contribute and get stuff back. Personal perks. To be honest, it's kind of worse because you're goal. expecting them I'm to not give you go money into a month. Detail about like it. It's all listed bill. there publicly on my Patreon. But I would certainly uh, appreciate it's if really those weird. of you who do watch my stuff daily and you enjoy my coverage of all the major games if you would consider pledging 
This month, we're going to be doing an indie marathon as a result of hitting our funding goal in April. <laughs> um, I will be setting up the, the new goal for this month. Within a week or so, I have to think about what I want to do with it, really, and try to get, you know, uh, He still don't have people. a goal, man. Oh, uh, it man. may be something we've done before, maybe something completely different. I don't know. It's nine days into the month, and he don't even have a goal yet. And then last but not least, you can also check out my girlfriend Leanna's business, The Black Current. This is the good part. Where she makes handmade glycerin soaps great. and wax tar melts. She's currently in the middle of her spring line of product, including awesome scents like ginger ale and Moroccan mint. And the, the current best seller, Kentish Rain, which she just made a second batch of. I guess Pandalee was, so was off from work today. I just this is the about, soap that yeah, I wash with quite uh, a lot. It smells kind of like... This is the weekend. It's like a cross between Irish Spring yeah, and it Zest. Was. It was Saturday. And so uh, the soap she makes work. is much better than a lot of the stuff that you would end up buying in the store because it's glycerin-based. It's good. It's healthy for your skin. You know, there's a lot of the, the, the stuff that you buy at the store is called a detergent bar. It's not even considered a soap. And that's why, you know, when you wash with that stuff, you end up feeling either oily, greasy, or dried out your skin afterward. Um, not with her stuff. She's actually shipped hundreds of orders worldwide. Oh she ships all different places internationally. Not everywhere, but some places. And the she's shield. got nothing but positive His feedback in a year and a couple months. <laughs> that she's actually been I actually in business. It for the first time. So please consider checking it out at etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current. Spelled C U R R A N T. Gino Saji actually just posted a link to the business. Gino what Saji. What kind of plug was that? It was good. Move over. No. This is what you gotta do. Mother's Day is coming up. It's too late to order, so you're a bad kid if you didn't. But what you can do is you can order now, so by like Monday, Tuesday, depending on where you live. You can get some nice wax tarts to burn. So your First of all, that voice. You can get some nice wax tarts to burn. Oh, my God. Mom doesn't have to smell the laundry she's got to be doing because you didn't do the damn laundry because you're a bad kid like that. Or you can get her a nice bar of glycerin soap. So while she's sitting in the tub contemplating how her life could have been if she ran off with that Italian soccer player that she met in college instead of having... You know, kids and settling down and being a suburban mom. You got to do nice things for your mom. Because she could have easily run off with Fabio in college. And you wouldn't have existed. Poof. Gone. So there you go. That's how you... This plug is low-key godlike, but awful at the same time. Because she's trying to shill it to a kid, quote-unquote, that lives with their parents. And I, I talked about this on stream earlier today because I was I was listening to these when I was on stream I didn't play the audio on stream though so before you try to go with some bullshit like that but I was listening to this earlier and I said to myself but if you a kid you don't have money to buy stuff online and if you do have money you don't have like a debit card or a credit card so what I'm gonna say mom can I borrow your credit card to buy some soap I don't understand that and um, DSP also talked about the deodorant, not the deodorant, uh, the detergent soap thing. Talked about this on my stream also. It was, I'm going to have to cut my green screen off. I did this on stream and it didn't look right because the soap thing is um, the soap container, not the container, the plastic is uh, green. So if I show it on green screen, it's going to look really wet. So chroma key rip but uh look at that it says deodorant so they actually call the soap then this is by the way if you want to know this is family dollar this is about the cheapest soap you can get this is legit a dollar and like 10 cent for two bars but it's called deodorant soap and i'm not going to read the whole ingredient list but uh it is glycerin in it but before glycerin, it's a bunch of weird shit that sound like it's not healthy. And it sounds like you shouldn't be putting it in your skin. And it's a bunch of other weird shit after glycerin. But he say glycerin based like glycerin isn't in cheap soap. And it is in cheap soap. But uh, one of the main ingredients for black currant soap is glycerin. And one of the like mid-tier ingredients for this deodorant bar is glycerin. So there you go. The myth has been 
proven. I don't know. But uh yeah. Just want to talk about yeah. that. Did you get your mom soap for, for uh she Mother's got wax Day? Tarts. She got wax tarts. She got two dogs. She needs <clears throat> wax tarts. So your mom's house smells is what you're saying. She got two dogs. <laughs> This is like your mom's house does panda smell. dogs. <laughs> Yara like and Chi Chi. Dogs. <laughs> no, it smells like Yara. <laughs> All right, well, Yara. I think it is time, ladies Yara and gentlemen, for us to start with our gameplay. Okay. Oh my God, his pre streams are so cringe sometimes. Twenty, and it, the, the thing is, all of them are like twenty-five minutes long. It's just twenty-five minutes of him talking with. Hello, nothing. everyone, and welcome to D. It's like twenty-five minutes of him talking with nothing to play off of. No any audio besides just him 22 minutes for that 21 minutes for that one 18 minutes for that one jesus fucking christ uh it's a pre-stream he talked about something and i'm gonna have to find it oh i'm not gonna listen to it though but it's called a uh, pre-stream you know all right let's see if i can find it it's called pre-stream may 30th overwatch beta time slash it's blowing over I love how he say it's blowing over like he's happy for um, people are like, he happy that people talking about him jacking off is blowing over but he fucking mentioned it more than anyone else just go to his Twitter and of course a bunch of comments about him jacking off so yeah it's not even gonna read those equated. um it doesn't perform well uh but I'll be using face cams for two reasons number one because uh, you know, people fighter game before it to give you a reference. Would you play Street Fighter two, Preaching three, or so four? Hard. Well, you'd probably play Street Fighter four. You know what I mean? So it's kind of the same deal. I wanted to play the most recent one. I gotta hit this again. Uh, you know, if you were gonna play Street Fighter five, but you wanted to play oh, Street okay, Fighter game before it to give you a frame of reference, would you play Street Fighter? Nice silence. Alright, so, <laughs> ladies and gents, gonna be a fun stream today. I thank you for being here. FYI, I will be using face cam. Hello, oh, everyone. Nice. Look at I'll this. I'll probably hell. turn on my, yeah. uh, my lamp over there so you can actually see me a little better. Uh, but I'll be using face cams for two reasons. That's something I just thought about. I have better lighting than DSP. And I mean, sure, I gotta have good lighting because I got a green screen, but I actually have better lighting than DSP. I'm, I'm gonna watch one, one, because, of his, one of his. Let's uh, see, let's see. You know, people are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch one of his Overwatch uh, face cam videos and see how it looked. I bought the face cam because of what happened the other day. And number two, because I actually looked at the HUD, you know, the heads up display for this game, and it looks like there'd be plenty of room for face cam that it wouldn't, like, hinder the. He using face cam because people hype about him jacking off by accident during pre-stream. So he used face cam to play Overwatch this day. How sad is that? Jeez, fucking Christ. Um, whether I can get it digitally, I'd like to <sighs> the game marathon. So, um, here's the gratuitous Baby plug Nation. segment. Let's get it done. All right. So first off, ladies and gents. If you love the daily oh, gameplay streams that I do, sides. if you like the on-demand videos on DSP Gaming of my raw gameplay, if you like vlogging raw over on the King of Hate vlogs, or if you like my edited style videos over on KO Gaming, my third YouTube channel, which, by the way, I released my there review of Star Fox Zero last... Blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Ooh, I'm, I'm kind of rambling a little bit. This is like 30 minutes long already. I am sorry for making this video so long. This was supposed to be Hello like everyone and welcome to the King of Hate. And I'm sitting here going on random tangents and checking other videos and shit. I want to see the quality of his uh face cam for Overwatch. Yeah, look how fucking like the well, my color's kind of washed out cuz it's vapor all in there. But this this color's all washed out. He looked gray. Like, if he just did color correction, it will look better. And of course, somebody could say, oh, it doesn't matter. He doesn't use face cam that much. Yeah, but when he does, it shouldn't look like shit. It looks terrible. And of course, he could put a green screen behind the couch to at least cut some of the stuff out. 
but then he would need better lighting if he had a green screen which is why my lighting is kind of good my lighting used to be terrible but it's kind of good now because I'm kind of forced to have at least average lighting but yeah look how fucking gray that look it looks terrible whatever all that's coming in a nutshell we got the weekend preview uh, I didn't see any purged comments let me see 21 comments 18 comments yeah I don't, I don't see any purged comments fuck yeah drunk feel I wanna know what they talking about let me uh scroll this over so you can see it I don't know what this is about he might uh he might be doing a drunk side feel for patreon which is really stupid I hope not Phil will always be the best. Fuck the hate. Yes, of course. We got a uh, wanker. I was wondering if you've seen or heard about several leaks of Batman Return of Arkham. They remastering the old. Uh, come on, camera game. And of course, I approve of that. Uh, somebody's talking about Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog being overrated. Somebody agreeing. Like I said, I really don't care about uh, Naughty Dog games. And before you know what jokes, sub T dog, hey Tevin. I imagine if you want to pick up Overwatch when it's on sale and they come out with the expansions, nope, you don't get maximum views that way. Doom's campaign is 13 to 15 hours. Marty Silva said so in multiple videos you pleb. Mom, did you really treat something IGN said as fact? IGN didn't say it though. Marty Silva said it, you fucking scrub. Does anyone know if Pendley is an affiliate program for a soap store? I know a dude is inf who has an invested audience and works his ass off promoting it every week. Let's make sure he's. F just want to make sure he's fairly compensated. Oh my god, YouTube. All oh, these YouTube recommendations. But if you want to get some legit soap, some real soap, not a deodorant bar like this fucking dollar like this fucking family dollar shit that shows up weird because it's a green screen but if you want to get some real soap some legit soap some soap that like three hours after you take a shower you like holy fucking shit I still smell like I just took a shower you make sure to go to the black current no 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 you make sure to go to etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current soap comes in a nice box like this has a nice little window and you even get business cards with the soap that are not showing up right because the way I have my camera set but it is some pretty alright soap and she also sells wax starts so make sure to go to etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash black current and get you some motherfucking soap uh what did you fap to of course hey Tevin Tevin if you see this can you clap Uh, it was reported that single player is about 10 hours longer, so no idea where you get fifth, 5 to 6 hours from. I don't know where you got it from either. To be honest, what probably happened, somebody probably tweeted him. And usually when people tweet him about shit, he kind of just run with it. Because it's DSP. So there you go. All that's coming. In a nutshell. Wow, that's a lot of dead silence. 13 seconds 15 seconds of dead silence how does he how does I don't get that how can he not fix that Let me move this over. I think that's about it click what's up yeah. everyone is the camera too high it is somehow this camera keeps getting knocked don't lower Hold it on a second Wow, his arms are hairy. Never noticed That's that. That's better. Yeah, there we go. That's the perfect height. Hello, everyone, Hello and everyone. welcome to the Week in Preview. It is Sunday, May 8th, 2016. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Classic Phil content. We got the glistening chest out. We're coming we got off the, a great week. The little right. change. Week where everything, in my opinion, was very positive, very fun. A lot of fun playthroughs that were wrapped up and completed. Almost a full playthrough that's been done. Coverage of a beta. <sighs> and we're heading into... The beginning of a full month of brand new releases every single week. With high profile games that people have been waiting to see for month, many, many guys. years. Holy shit, things I that I wait. cannot wait to start playing. I'm very excited and I hope you are too. I'm not. Starting like immediately right now, no lie. I'm going to be incredibly freaking busy 
shit, for the next several weeks into until June, really. Because in early June, I'm going to be taking a little bit of time off, and I'm going to tell you about that in a little bit, okay? That'll be near the end of the video. I'll explain. I thought DSP didn't take time off. Time off that's coming in Rip. June. But, for the most part, this month is insanely... Oh, yeah, by the way, I, I meant to say this is completely fucking irrelevant. But, um... The last few times I've been using this camera, I had it set to 720p settings because it uses less resources, and now it's set to 1080p. So yay, I look, I'm like real HD now on a screen. Packed with stuff. There's so, so much hype. going on this month. I'm hoping about. I have enough time to do all the things. That it's just I me being do. petty. So we'll see what happens. Video okay. Quality. So FYI, really quickly, summary of this past week. Overwatch beta, oh, TV, which I played for two straight days, had tons of fun. I made something like 40-something yeah, videos something. of this game, played with various me. different characters in the game. I really enjoyed it. I even made a video on KO Gaming explaining my full feelings. If you want to check that out, it's at youtube.com forward slash KO Gaming 1. There but we go. I'm now incredibly on the fence whether or not I want to buy this game when it releases in three weeks. And here's the reason why, okay? Number one... Because the game, the full game, was in the beta. From all reports, every character, all content was was actually present in the beta. So if you played the beta, you it's played not a the fucking game, beta, the then it's whole a demo. game. And I played with every character, I covered every map and all of that. So if we're Remember back when they used to call game demos demos? And then PC started being popular and then demos started getting called betas? Because I'm sorry, if your beta is the entire game and the game comes out less than a month after the beta ends, your beta is a fucking demo. Beta sounds cool to say, and it sounds cool to say, oh yeah, I'm playing the beta. It's not a fucking beta though, it's a demo. A beta means you're playing an unfinished product, but if your demo was the whole game, and when you buy it, you're gonna get the whole game, it's a demo. That's, more, that's actually more of a demo than a real demo, because a real demo gives you part of the game, but if your beta is the whole game, it's not a fucking beta. It's a demo. How much I've seen the whole I hate game of development the game. in 2016 now, some people, sometimes. Which is why I'm getting that a PS3 love, soon. Get addicted to it. <laughs> get not a fucking like PS4. And play a bunch of competitive matches and enjoy it that way. And I completely understand your perspective. But for me, as a YouTuber who covers games, Cover. how many people are going to want to see me replay the same exact stages, the same characters, the same... How many people want to see him play the same stages and the same characters over and over? Dude, that's your Street Fighter Five videos. You only play Fraud Ash Rashid in your Zengi for no gimmicks. Which is why you can't beat people that are average at the game. And you play new characters when they come out. But it's the same stages and it's the same characters. For some reason Street Fighter Five is okay, but Overwatch isn't. Overwatch is gonna be a competitive uh based, I guess you could say, first person shooter, just like Street Fighter is a competitive based based in the right word competitive style i'm gonna say style a competitive style uh 2d fighter it's not really 2d but it's on a 2d plane stuff but that i just whatever. did for two straight days apparently street fighter week. slides you know what i mean overwatch don't so that's number one number two the game is 60 dollars on con to be honest he got enough views off of overwatch he don't really need to play it look at his overwatch videos got mad views now, what he should do, if he was smart, he would get Overwatch Day 1 from GameStop, stop fucking pre-ordering games, stop being lazy, go to the physical store and get a game, get a physical copy of the game from GameStop, play it for two or three days, and then immediately go back to GameStop and get at least $31 in store credit. I think they give you like 30, 30 ish dollars. I would do that if I was sold, But it's being sold for $40 on PC. What the fuck? And I'm kind of very angry about this. Apparently, the PC version, you could get just the bare game for 40 bucks. If you buy it on console, you're forced to get the Origins Edition Day 1, of, which is $60. The difference between the two, you get a few extra unlocks at default when you buy the console. To be honest, there's probably some licensing type things. And isn't Overwatch the... Um, isn't Overwatch the Blizzard game? which means they're going to sell it on their own storefront 
and of course they won't have to pay any kind of fees selling their own game so it's probably sixty dollars on PC and it get it probably would have been sixty dollars anyway because they don't they don't want to make less profit it's probably sixty dollars on uh, console so they can make the same amount of money I might be wrong I don't fucking know I really don't care to be honest but just looking at it from face value that's probably the deal they're probably selling it for sixty dollars so they can make the same amount of money and they probably added in DLC so people wouldn't get all pissy about it and it's forty on uh, PC because they don't have to pay any licensing fees and stuff like that no I'm just making this option so you probably get like a bunch of the loot packs or whatever or maybe customizables right off from the the get-go but why the fuck is the game twenty dollars more when it's the same game on both versions of the game it's a ripoff it's a complete ripoff for console owners so I, I was I mean, I got Street Fighter Five on Green Man Gaming. Shout out to Green Man Gaming, by the way. I got Street Fighter Five at launch for forty-eight dollars. I had to use a twenty percent off code, but you pretty much use that for every game on Steam. Well, at least every mainstream game on Steam, because every mainstream game on Steam is on Green Man Gaming. So with that logic, DSP should be complaining when every new game come out. Like it's really petty and stupid to complain about something like that. To be honest. Oh, the game costs more on console and it's less on PC because I don't know how game development works at all, but I play games for a living. Whatever. I would say, if it were $40, I'd be much more leaning towards buying it. <laughs> $40. But for $60 for a game that I've already played the whole thing? But DSP, you write games off on taxes anyway. Like I said, go to GameStop, buy it, play it for three days, go back to GameStop and give it back to them. That's all they gotta do. I pretty much covered the whole game on YouTube and I might get bored of it in a couple days of gameplay. I don't know if it's gonna be worth it. I don't even know how many people would want to see me keep playing this game when I've already done 40 some videos played with every character. You know what I mean? I've pretty much almost seen everything there is to see with this game. So I don't know. That's kind of disappointing. I don't know what Blizzard's going for. It's like a free to pay model but you pay for the game. Free to pay? Figure that one out. I don't know. Um, so anyway, How is it free to play? I did that, and then for the past several what? days, I've been playing Mafia 2. Now, I need to tell you, if you have not checked out my Mafia 2 playthrough on DSP Gaming, I wouldn't say this lightly, I wouldn't say this to try to strum up attention. I'm very pleased with the attention that the playthrough has gotten Ooh, in the couple days net. that it's been live, because I knew Jesus it was a retro Christ. game that wasn't going to get a lot of attention. Anyway, it's Oof. actually gotten more than I thought it would. People are saying the Mafia 2 playthrough is the best oh my playthrough God. I've done in a long time, probably, you know, since Fallout 4, and before that, since Until Dawn, and before that, since, say, the Batman playthrough. <laughs> you know, every year there's so certain right playthroughs that I do that just, they really resonate on all cylinders. People are saying Mafia 2 is one of those, that it really feels like I'm an old-school Phil, and I'm playing a game just like I used to back in the day. I'm joking constantly. I'm doing lots of the observational kind of commentary with jokes interspaced in, and some people have actually come out of the woodwork where I haven't heard from in a couple years. And I said, Phil, you know, someone told me you were playing this game, and I usually have, don't watch your stuff anymore, and I started watching it, and I couldn't believe how good the playthrough is. Thank you. So if you have not checked out the Mafia 2 playthrough yet, I strongly recommend you do, because there's a lot of new stuff coming out that people are going to get wrapped up in in the next couple days, and now's the perfect opportunity to check it out, okay? Uh, I mean, to be honest, I can't really give him shit, because that may actually be true. But I don't understand it. But that's kind of how YouTube Let's Plays work. The people that do them don't fucking understand them either. Multiple people, to use DSP or multiple people have told me that my best YouTube playthrough thing, and even better than, uh, be it, some people even told me it's better than my DSP stuff, is when I played, um, what is the name of that Telltale game? The Wolf Among Us. I... I mean, I, I guess I can kind of understand it, if that makes sense. Like, my favorite DSP stuff is this Street Fighter 4 stuff, but that's because it's short and it's to the point. And, you know, every video was entertaining, regardless if you want to lose. But I... I don't know. For, it, it's, it's just weird for him to kind of shill it like that. Oh, it's the best playthrough I've done in years. People are loving it. Is really weird. Now let's get down Whatever. to it. Let's get down to the schedule. Let's get, right? the, let's get right, right into the Right before I concept. start talking about the schedule, though, I just want to give you a piece of good news. As I should start saying that. I could pull. I could be Keemstar in the start of my videos and say, 
Let's get right into the content. I'm not going to remember to do that. But if I do, I'm going to do it next week. For right now, we have 100% hit the funding goal on Patreon for the month of April. All right. Enough people's pledges were processed. We hit the funding goal. That means at the end of this month or early June, depending on scheduling, which we'll talk about in a moment, I'm going to be doing an NDA marathon. And as of tonight, what I'm going to do is set up on the forums a thread by which people can nominate and vote on indie games for this marathon. Um, I'm, I'm so high. Messaging all the patrons. So, FYI. Bro, you have no fucking idea how hype I am to see DSP play a game that I probably know nothing about for like two hours, not learn it, not understand it, know nothing about it, and I can never see him play it again. Because that's what the Indie Marathon is. Yes, we have the so goal of Indie Marathon. I can't wait. Either in late May or early June. So great. And thank you to everyone. Late pledged. May, early June. Very I could be dead about it, but that. I can't I'm wait. Feeling really positive. My business did well in April. Pretty good. Uh, business. Uh, pretty damn good compared to slower how slow it was earlier this year. So I'm happy about that. Patreon, we hit the goal. Everything's going well right now. And I'm really excited. People are telling me on Twitter and everything. Phil, you have a like a really positive attitude right now. And we're loving it. And I want to keep it going. I'm having a lot of fun. And this is what it's all about, right? It's kind of easy to have a positive attitude when life is going all right for you. Just saying. Take a sip. Yo, pink so, label on that water bottle. Let's now talk about the schedule because I'm insanely busy. Where do you hear this? All right. Tonight, so busy. Tonight, after I finish with this week in preview, as this is uploading, I'm going to be filming my reactions to Captain America Civil War, which I saw in movie theaters yesterday. And I've got some big positives and some negatives to talk about in this video. So that's going to be a good one. People seem to like my reactions videos to things like movies, which I started <sighs> doing this year. So that'll also be going live right here on the King of Hate vlogs later tonight. In addition, I'm going to message all of the patrons who pledged in the month of April to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. I'm going to ask everyone for their information if I need it, so that way I can start working on their perks. There's lots of patrons who pledged for the first time in the month of April because they wanted to see that indie marathon happen. So I'll be messaging all of you if I need more information tonight. So check out your PMs on Patreon.com. <laughs> I need your information quickly so that I can get the those PMs on perks Patreon. actioned, say, within about a week or so. All right, that's tonight for me. By the way, that's not tonight. I also got to clean my hamster cage. I got other chores I got to do around the house. Very busy day for me today. I've been boobopping all over the place. I went out and did all these errands earlier today. I went shopping for a garden for this spring, and I went grocery shopping. I went to Sam's Club for the first time and bought... He sounds like a salty housewife complaining about basic shit that they're going to do anyway. And now somebody's gonna, somebody that got a fucking kid is going to get mad at me for saying that. But, like, really... You're busy because you have to go out to the store and spend money and because you have to clean a hamster kid. You don't even have a kid. Like, that's the thing. I said housewife, but at least the housewife is probably going to have a kid. He doesn't even have a fucking kid. And he's sitting up here, oh, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. I'm doing so much stuff. Wow, cleaning the hamster cage. Oh, man, so much stress. It's so hard to do that. And what's this a white dot on the screen, by the way? You see that? By his hand, well, I can't point to it, but by his hand on that side is a white dot. A white dot? What the fuck is that? And it's showing up in OBS, too. Is his hand over the mic? It's a weird... No, that's not a white dot. That's the door. Wow. I'm, uh, I've been uh, I've been drinking a little bit. Come in, it's like, you know. Different on the <laughs> I was I was like really wicked out. What the fuck is that white dot? Now, just time is so busy today. Crazy ass busyness. Okay. To so busy. Wow, cleaning the hamster cage and going to the store. I, I don't know how they can handle it. And playing video games too for YouTube. Tomorrow. Whoa. My gameplay stream, my first gameplay stream, which starts around noon Pacific time, is going to be the conclusion of Mafia 2. Scratch at this point, I'm at the very like final chapter of the game. People have said, give or take, you know, it might take maybe an hour or so for me to beat the story of the game. But I actually got the Platinum Edition of the game, which came with the DLCs. And people have said that I should check out he the ranked Joe's up Adventures DLCs in particular because it's a <laughs> it's really good be one. Platinum. So tomorrow's stream will be the conclusion of Mafia 2. Combined with some of the Joe's Adventure DLC. Now, if the DLC is great, 
then there's a chance that in the future I'll finish it. If not, <laughs> then it's okay or whatever. Or if there's in not the a lot future. of to see me continue it, then maybe I won't. But it was a chance a he was going to finish. Uh, it was a chance he was going to finish Parasite Eve in the future. Never finished that. I guess he's never going to play Parasite Eve two. By the way, I might play Parasite Eve one day. I kind of hate the game, but I think I played it with the wrong mindset. I might play Kujinamafi it one day. Mafia All right. Tomorrow night, Monday night, May 9th, mm -hmm. special mm -hmm. event mm -hmm. in honor of the launch of Uncharted 4, a game which I've now played every version of Uncharted on YouTube, by the way. I played Uncharted 2 and 3 it's when I brand new, and then later on I went back and did a retro replay of Uncharted. Every version isn't the right word. I'm nitpicking here, but every version isn't the right word. He mean every game, because he never played the HD Uncharted games, even though he has that. He got it for free. He has it. And he never played it. Started one because I never had yep. a chance to do that for YouTube. GG I hadn't uh, been doing game YouTube devs and promotion and companies. You're sending assholes uh, games I'm that never play. I'm very excited to see the end of the Uncharted franchise, to see how they wrap up the story, to play the multiplayer. Everything I've heard about this game, the pre-release reviews, if you haven't heard them, there's like an insane amount of 10 out of 10s. Apparently this game is <sighs> like uncharted. emotionally gripping. Of course everybody's going to jerk it off. That a game has not had in a very long time. Apparently the gameplay, the graphics, the story, and everything are supposed to be super duper two thumbs up top notch. I know that Naughty Dog can do a great job they, with The Last of Us, with the first three Uncharted's, and yes, with their previous games as well. Last of Us is have always good. done an amazing job. I cannot wait to play Uncharted 4 tomorrow night. I'm so, I'm pumped. Can you tell? I'm freaking super pumped. All right. Listen to all this fake hype. It might not be fake hype, but don't DSP like always talk about how he don't get hype for games, but he hype for Uncharted. I'm doing a Rip. special stream for the premiere. Special now, I stream. I pre-ordered it digitally on PSN. The game is supposed to preload onto my PS4. Why? See, that's the thing. He really is falling into Sony's trap with these pre-orders. Because him as a Let's Player, of course he wants to be able to play the game as soon as he can possibly play it. But... He's spending sixty dollars to pre-order these games, and he can't get anything back. He's not gonna play the Uncharted uh, Four DLC and play that game online. Fuck no. So he spent sixty dollars, and he can't even get half of it back. But, and then of course this, I can turn this uh, this video fucking long, and I say this video will be short, but whatever. But um, of course I can turn this back around and and say, oh, DSP always say that. He, uh, people show up to his streams and show up to his videos because it's him and not because of the game. But then when a brand new game come out, he try to play it day one. Like, not even day one. He try to play it before day one. He pre-order and shit so he could play it Monday at 9 p.m. his time. Which is before somebody like me can even fucking buy it. <laughs> I can't get it on Monday at 9 p.m. I think the earliest I can get a game is 11 p.m. Like through PSN or something. But if people show up to see you and to see you play a game, like I said, go to GameStop, get a physical copy, beat it, take it back to GameStop. Stop pre-ordering these fucking games and giving these cocksuckers $60 when you won't play the game a week after it's out and you won't ever play it again. It's a waste of money. That's just me. So I could play it at 9 p.m. Pacific and time I, I tomorrow. Really and I don't know if that's going to actually happen. Cops, I'm just you know calling what happens sometimes? Game with this devs in general. Maybe I'll preload and then I go to play. Oh, which is worse. Five, seven gigs, and we have to sit here and wait for 30 minutes for the damn thing to install. Who knows? But I'll be doing a live stream starting hopefully gameplay at 9 p.m. The premiere of the story of Uncharted 4. I'm going to play around two hours, and I'm actually probably going to have a drink here, so I'll probably be having a few sips of a drink and feeling loose and casual to get the story story going of Uncharted 4 tomorrow. He has to drink to be loose and casual with, it, with his viewers, even though he's been streaming and set, he's been you doing YouTube videos for seven years. He's still got a drink to get lo loose and casual with us, and I thought I was bad. Tomorrow night, Holy 9 shit. p.m. Pacific time, all right? Then, Tuesday... The way I'm going to do the, this week is I'm going to do half and casual. half days. Yeah, so Tuesday, cheap girl my the club. gameplay stream at the beginning of the day will be Uncharted 4 Story. So another mm. three or so mm. hours of story progress. Later that night, I'm going to try out the Uncharted 4 multiplayer for a couple hours. Okay? So two streams on Tuesday, right? Awesome. Both sides of Uncharted 4. It's going to be pretty neat. Wednesday, I'm probably going to do the same thing. It Did Rise of the Tomb Raider have online? If so, why didn't DSP play it? Because it's the same fucking thing as Uncharted Online. And I know somebody will get mad at me for saying that. But it's a third... Per no, I'm, I'm looking at it from 
uh, a casual viewpoint. No cap. I'm looking at it from a, I'm looking at it from a casual viewpoint. Someone that hasn't played Uncharted Online and someone that hasn't played Tomb Raider Online. They both third person shooters. I played uh, Last of Us Online. Though. I did not have a good experience. But it's it's two third person shooters. You're running around and you're jumping over shit and you're using guns on people. I don't understand why would he be jerking off Uncharted Online so much, but he never even played Tomb Raider Online. Uh, I don't It'll know. be Uncharted 4 Story on my first stream and Uncharted Multiplayer on my second stream. Now, here's where it starts to get... And I'm already going to call it before it happened, so if you do it, you are drone. LTG voice. Somebody's going to comment, Oh, but, but Tevin, uh, Uncharted Multiplayer has this extremely specific thing and that extremely specific thing and that extremely specific thing and that extremely specific thing and you can do that one tiny thing that no one is gonna notice and you can't do that in Tomb Raider. I, I guarantee you somebody somebody already typing it. They already typing it. And because I'm saying this, they won't they won't post a comment. A little iffy because we don't know how long Uncharted 4 is. <laughs> is the story gonna be eight hours long? Is the story gonna be fifteen hours long? We don't know. You know, they've kind of varied. If you actually look at the history of Uncharted, some of them are around eight to nine hours and some of them oh, are really four longer. hours. It depends. So for a sixteen gig I'm not sure uh, if I could beat SDHC if I beat the story memory by card? Wednesday, then obviously Holy that's shit. it for the story, right? Um what if the multiplayer doesn't have tons GG of Newick. content? Now I played the multiplayer beta and I loved it. But the multiplayer <sighs> beta was only a couple of maps, but and, uh, it only had so like bad. one or two game modes. So I'm sure the real multiplayer of the game will have more than that. Okay, so I'm very excited to play that. But what if I play Wait, it once or twice and there's not much left? Well, then I'll probably not play as much of that. All right. Here's the goal. The goal for me is to complete the story of Uncharted 4, to play some of the multiplayer, oh, and to hopefully back. It's not review to. Uncharted 4 by the end of Thursday. All right. Now, I don't know exactly how it's going to go all week. If I beat it early, then maybe I'll have time to cram something extra in there. Like wait, I said, maybe more wait, 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 wait. He wants to beat on. He wants to beat Uncharted Four by Thursday. I'm not trying to say Uncharted Four is a long game, but this is coming from the YouTuber that doesn't rush games. You guys, he doesn't rush games. He takes his time, and he wants to beat a new game. That comes out Monday at 9 p.m. for him. He wants to beat it before Thursday so he can shit out a review. Wow. Zona 3. All right. All dependent on how long it takes for me to get through Uncharted 4 during the course of the week. To I get don't know through how long it. It's going to take. Well, <laughs> I really would like to complete everything with the game by Thursday. Reason being, Friday we have another high profile new game release in the. So that explains it. He wants to beat Uncharted 4 by Thursday and shit out a review so he can play the brand new hype, overhyped bullshit on Friday. What's the Form game? of Doom. Doom. I, I can't wait for Doom to flop. I think Doom is going to flop. I might be wrong. I, I hope I am. I don't really hope a game flop unless I think it's straight up bullshit. But I don't think Doom is appealing to anybody. I really don't. I really don't. But I might be wrong. You never know, but I feel like Doom is not going to do good. I might be wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but I, some, I, I just got a bad feeling about Doom. I'm super pumped for. I'm a huge fan of the Doom series. I played mm -hmm. both Doom 1 and 2 on the PC he when they a were classic. Fan. I played the Doom 3, which was really just called Doom again uh, when it was released. Uh, years and years ago, I actually played the PC version of that game, which was very nice looking. It was more survival horror oriented. And now I'm looking forward to this new Doom, which looks like it has, does have a campaign. From all reports, it's only around five to six hours long. It's not from a super all long reports. campaign. Looks AKA like they three people on this Twitter. Multiplayer. But I played the multiplayer beta of Doom, and I loved it. So I am 100% dying to play the full version of this game starting this Friday. Take a sip. <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing if it was and like so straight up, that straight said, gym, If, let's say, hopefully I can complete bottle. Uncharted 4 story... And do some of the multiplayer These and review be by a the end of Thursday. Was drinking Friday is the premiere of Doom. Logs. I'll be doing the Doom story on my first gameplay stream on Friday. And I'll be doing multiplayer on a second stream on Friday. Saturday, since I only do one stream on Saturdays because I go out to do errands and stuff the second half of the day. I'll see how far I've gotten in the story. Maybe that'll be the conclusion of the story stream. And then maybe Sunday will be more multiplayer.
All right, we'll see. We'll play it by ear, and we'll see exactly how stuff goes over the in weekend. But the weekend will be doomed. So the week is going to be in Charter 4. The weekend's going to be I know I never say I hope I you get trolled in something, really awesome, but I really don't fun, care. Exciting kind of experience for everyone. Like Uncharted multiplayer, you might as well watch and play less of those multiplayer. It's going to be and the same if, like thing. I said, if I do end up beating the games a little bit more quickly, I've got so other stuff. Call I can do Mafia 2 DLCs. I can do Persona 3. So I've got stuff to fill in the gaps if there happen to be gaps anywhere during the course of the week. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, just to give you some perspective on the rest of the week, or the rest of the month, excuse me. Next week, we've got the Homefront month. Revolution and Fallout 4's first major story DLC, which we've all been waiting for, Far I Harbor. I cannot be it. more pumped. I get, like, negative fucks on Fallout 4. I know Homefront is supposed to be a totally new style of game. It's still the same premise of the original Homefront game, but a different kind of game. And freaking Far Harbor, finally, we get a story-based DLC for Fallout 4. For those of you who love my Fallout 4 playthrough last year, you're going to probably love my coverage of this DLC because I'm going to do it the same way, all right? Um, the week after that, we've got the Overwatch full release, which, again, oh. I'm on the fence. The video almost... Oh, shit. We got, like, fucking eight minutes left. Oh, my God. I need a hashtag. This video longer than it needs to be already, but I need a hashtag for this video. Uh, what could the hashtag be? Hashtag hype. Let me know. Like, legit, I want to know. If you hype for Doom, Uncharted 4, uh, Fallout 4 DLC, even though that's not this week, or some random fucking PC game, or some random indie game, or some random non-super mainstream game, or, or um, Hype Watch. Let me know if you're hyped for uh, Overwatch 2. And uh, let me know why. I actually want to see what other people think about these games, because I'm not interested in any of them. Like, Hype Hype Watch. Overwatch look kind of interesting, but it probably won't work on my computer. And uh, forty dollars for a game that's not something I'm gonna play a lot. No, that is not me. Forty-eight dollars was the last game, the last, the biggest amount I spent on a game, and probably the last year. And I think I got my money's worth out of Street Fighter Five. But yeah. But let me know. I actually legit want to know what if what people think about these upcoming games, or if they're interested in another game that's not super mainstream, overhyped, probably going to be bullshit. I don't think Uncharted 4 is going to be bullshit. It's like they pretty much can't fuck up a game at this point. Uh, Doom, I think Doom is going to be a flop, but I don't know. Overwatch, I don't know. I think a lot of people played it because it's a beta, and because the beta lasts so long. Like, the Twitch directories are fucking batshit for Overwatch. When a game actually releases, it might be the exact opposite, but you never fucking know. Um, what's another game that's coming out? In the Fallout 4 DLC, I don't really care about that. And everything else is like kind of niche stuff and PC stuff that probably three people would know about. But let me know. I actually want to know what people think about this. About sixty dollars for a game I've already game basically releases. seen everything in. But there's also a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game coming out from Platinum Games. I am going to be checking that out. Uh, there's also a strong... Platinum Games. Kind of bullshitting us, aren't they? Because, of course, you got... Uh, they did some really good stuff last gen. And, you know, Bayonetta 2, of course, from most reports, is a pretty good game. They had the Transformers game, which was kind of meh. They had the uh, Korra game, which was kind of meh. Uh, Star Fox, which was kind of meh. And now a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Platinum Games, I know y'all getting money from these, these publishers, but you might want to chill for a bit and actually put out something that's legit. Instead of just putting out meh games. And now someone's going to fucking post a five paragraph long comment defending Star Fox Zero. And say, oh you don't know anything about Star Fox. Because you compared it to Panzer Dragoon. Even though Panzer Dragoon came out after Star Fox. Which was not my fucking point at all. But. <laughs> Rumor. That, uh, it is what it is. Month, it's actually funny to see YouTube release. comments God, sometimes. What was it? Because someone told me when about it. People get like, salty oh, about release, really specific month. shit. I, like, no. uh, I think. But that's that's how it is oh, to play God, videos on YouTube. I can't get mad at them. There is another episodic release of something coming out by the end of this month. I'm not sure what. And I apologize. Oh God, Minecraft. I hope not. 
but apparently there's supposed to be another one. And I hate Telltale tell so there's a much for that. Piece game called Burning Blood. It's supposed to be a combination of fighter, but also a big story arc that I've never stuff heard that's of. Out of the end I stopped of the month. reading and watching One Piece, so this would be cool. I'm gonna check that game out. All right. Now, in addition, I stopped reading and watching One Piece, but watch my playthrough of it eventually, and I'm gonna say I'm a huge fan of One Piece. There's also chances and that by the end of this manga. month we may have a new expansion content for Street Fighter V. Maybe there'll be a new episodic uh, thing in the form of Minecraft Story Mode. There's, I don't want you know, that. Another episode I of hope Hitman. they cancel Who knows? it. There's uh, many, many possibilities of I'm things forced that could to be coming play it at this Oh, point. now I remember. I just remembered what it was. I played the other Supposedly, episodes. this is the strong rumor because uh -oh, it was rumor. a leak, supposedly. The end of this month. Mm -hmm. is supposed to see the next and final Witcher 3 DLC. This will be a full year oh, I don't care about after that. The Witcher 3 was originally released. The final DLC is actually supposed to be He didn't play the last it. DLC, did he? For it. I love The Witcher 3. I love the, the last DLC, and I definitely want to play this next one. Okay, board. he did play so it. So if that comes no, out, that means probably I'll you'll see me doing that in very late May, early June, depending see, on what the day it actually DLC, does he release, but I'm very those. interested in doing that as well, okay? So that's kind of a, a perspective, <sighs> a glimpse at the rest of the month, FYI, ahead of time. Um, okay, the I'll last thing I really want to talk about in this video is the time off that I'm going to be taking in June. It's early June. It's actually the first full week of June, so starting around maybe June. You're telling us about him taking time off in June, and it's the start of May. Now, if he don't take time off in June, people are going to give him shit. And if you do take time off in June, people are going to give him shit. Wait and fucking tell us when it's getting close Fifth, to the time dude and ending probably around uh, I could be June dead by then. 11th I believe the so world could end before not the June. first two you days know. there's like the first second third and fourth are like maybe I think it's uh, Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday those days I'll still be working to work kind of that first week of June <laughs> like, like Sunday to Saturday working day uh, my Don't parents are going to and we got a lot of stuff on the docket things that we want to do restaurants and places that we want to go to do some stuff here because last time they were here it was christmas and it was very busy tourism so it was hard for us to go around and do stuff there's also stuff around Money's the house tight. that we want Can't to work to go on to for restaurants example with my parents. Uh, my dad's going to show me how to repair holes in walls and stuff and sand down walls so that i can paint leanna's office because she's wanted to have that painted since we moved here two years office if you have a spare bedroom and put a computer in it that makes it an office <laughs> At least when you file ago, taxes, it do. And I have not had a chance to do anything with it, so we're going to do that. We're going to do some home repairs and stuff. But we're going to do a lot of stuff oh while they're God. here. Um, which means I'm not going to be doing consistent work that week. There's going to be some time off. Now, can your parents help you make a better computer so you can stream PC games? Now, here's the thing. I purposely scheduled this week of time off. Purposely. Because there were no releases that week. I knew that right after this ends, E3 starts on... In before nine games release that week and he can't play them. On Sunday, June 12th. <laughs> oh, a bunch of betas and demos. I was going to be watching the press conferences, the big Bethesda conference, and doing reactions videos and everything to that, like I did last <laughs> year and like I do every year. Big Bethesda so conference. What did they have to time. announce? Guess what happened? DLC. Mirror's Edge Catalyst, which was supposed to be released in late May, got delayed until this week. So now, you know, I'm supposed to be off from June 5th to June 11th, but Mirror's Edge Catalyst is coming out on, on June 7th. And it's like... It's bullshit. It's like, I, I literally waited until the last minute to tell my parents the dates when they should come. Listen to this petty-ass, bullshit-ass bitchin' about a video game release. When you play video games for a job, you consider it a business. One fucking game coming out when you want to take time off. Why can't he record Let's Play videos when his parents over there? Dude. Your parents, if, even if they live, it, even if they're gonna be sleeping in, in 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 the house with you, you got all night. It ain't like he gotta wake up in the morning and go to some job. He got all night. He literally has all night. He could play Mirror's Edge Catalyst that night and just upload it to YouTube. But no, fuck that. That would be him doing something kind of different and him changing his own daily schedule to fit around uh, making content. So fuck that shit. Let me just complain about it. I did everything humanly possible to make sure, you know, I, I cleared my schedule. I was like, if I get this done by then, this done by then, I'll be sure and I'll be able to work for E3. They, they buy the tickets, and I kid you not, the day after they bought the fucking plane tickets, Mirror Jets Catalyst got delayed. There you go, sir. It's bullshit. So here's the thing. I absolutely want to play Mirror Jets Catalyst. Game anyway. fuck absolutely. Em. But I can't promise you I'm playing it And it's Fuck just em. because the game got delayed. If it hadn't been delayed and it came out when it was the well, no, Mirror's Edge Catalyst is from uh, Dice. I wouldn't have been fine. 
but uh, I, I am. Those. I played the beta. I really liked the beta of Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I thought it was quite entertaining and fun. The <laughs> beta. Um, but I don't know. I can't <laughs> guarantee that I'm playing this game at launch at this point because He's I know my game are going to be here. We're going to have Beta is a buzzword at this Now, here's point. the thing. That doesn't mean that maybe during that week I may be able to sneak in a couple gameplay streams because the bottom line is my parents are here, but they're not going to be here 16 hours a day. You know, they'll come See? during a certain time period and we'll probably get some work done at the house and we'll have dinner or whatever and then they'll go back to their hotel. So I'm sure there may be opportunities maybe a couple times that week where I will maybe on launch day and maybe like the next day. So he's not taking a week off then if he played a game anyway when they're not around for some reason. Like I say, for some reason, he, he can't recall let's play videos during the day and say, hey, mom and dad, I'm doing fucking work. Fuck you. <laughs> but if he gonna if he might play anyway, he's not taking time off. So what's the fucking point of telling us? Hey, maybe like one more day that week, uh, three days during the week, I'll do one gameplay stream, and that's it. I won't do anything else, just the gameplay streams of that game. But we'll see. I'll let you know as we approach that more closely what to expect. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of stuff with me going to see my parents, pick them up from the airport, make sure everything happens okay with their hotel. This time, they're actually getting a rental car. Oh, my God. Now Unnecessary works, information. So car to get to and from work, and she necessarily can't get the whole week off. So my parents are getting a rental car. There's a lot of stuff that's different from their first visit. So it's a lot more flexible, which is good. But at the flexible same time, like they're obviously dog. here. I need to spend time with them. I can't be in the office all fucking office. day working when <laughs> my parents are visiting. So, I A room with a bunch of consoles and a computer in it and a couch is an office. As long as you tell the government that. I've got to try to wait a find a way to balance the time. We'll Those see. are we'll ours. Ours. Not necessarily closer. the government. But I just want to let everyone know, be aware, that's coming up. It's going to be a crazy busy cares. May. And then we'll have a it's little bit of June. more downtime. And then when E3 hits, boom. Then we'll E3 coverage all week. I'll be talking three, four days about E3. Killing me right now. And, you know, then we'll be going into all the new releases, which I think No Man's Sky comes out in June. And Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens comes out, which Leanna and I, incidentally, are going to be doing co-op with. And I believe there's actually a few other high-profile releases coming out in June as well that I haven't even had a chance to write on my calendar yet. But it's going to be a fun month. It's just that there'll be a little bit of downtime at the beginning. It's fucking June! We in the start of May and you're talking about the beginning of June? This is so stupid. Okay, more info as we get closer. That's it, everyone, for the weekend preview. I really hope you'll be here for the conclusion of Mafia 2. Just wait really until I really hope you'll later. check out my reactions to Captain America Civil War. Obviously, I'm very excited I'm for both Uncharted 4 and Doom. Like, both he gave are, me like, a headache. You are out there. I'm this, sure you're very pumped for these big high-profile releases. As much as I am, a lot and uh, I hope you'll join you me on stream, we'll watch Donna. the videos on YouTube, whatever you get the chance. I guess I can say the same for DSP, uh, I don't expect rambling. Hit me up at the DSP on Twitter, let me know how I'm doing this week, let hit me, me up know, at you know, am I keeping up the positive attitude that I, you know, as long as things are going well, business-wise, and I'm enjoying the games I'm playing, business, playing, I can't see why I wouldn't still have a positive attitude about everything, you know what I mean? Like, see? I said it earlier, of course he will have a positive attitude. If you're doing good in life and you're making money, obviously going to have a positive attitude. Why would he be negative? I'm getting views, I'm getting money. Why would I be negative? It's not even anything to com commendate? Commendate? I don't know, fuck it. It's not even anything to praise him on. This past week was great for me. I was Every game I was playing, I was enjoying... People were interacting with me all over social media and being positive. Yeah, because you jacked off on like, stream. Why would I be accident. negative? And the business, I just got the business results for April where the business had done well. Business two times. Let me see you do that shit two times. Business twice in the same sentence. And look at that face. Well, in April, I was like, why the hell would I be you know, negative? I have to do better, I know, and I have to try to stay like this. So let's keep it going. All right, everyone? Thank you for watching the Weekly Preview. I definitely appreciate it, and you know what? I just realized as I'm filming this, I'm not even kidding you, I forgot to set up the patron crawl because guess what? I didn't message the patrons yet. Oops. So I promise you by next week, I'll have the thank you patron crawl here on the Week in Preview. I did not have a chance to set it up today because I didn't do any of the patron stuff yet. I'm doing it tonight. Sorry to the pages. That's my bad. I just realized now at the end of the video, I'm like, son of a bitch. But honest mistake. Next week, you'll definitely have your no thank comment. you patron crawl at the end of the week in preview. That's it, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you for all the new stuff this week. Peace out. Oh, my God. What was the hashtag? The hashtag, it was hashtag height. Let me know what you think and if you hype about these hot games that's coming out, like uh, Doom, Uncharted 4, 
uh, Fallout 4 DLC is not this week, but it's this month. And if you're not, let me know uh, if you're hype or if you anticipating any other games that may not be super mainstream and may not really be extremely relevant in, uh, you know, the internet world, if that makes sense. What is being recommended for me? This is a dude. No, it's a girl. A girl makeup video. Why are makeup videos being recommended for me? In fucking pyro cynical videos and Donald Trump videos. What? And somebody playing with tarot cards? In week of April 28th, May 5th, week preview reading Verush? What? Oh God. I, I don't know. I don't know if YouTube is weird. So I don't know how to explain it. Let me, uh, this weekend preview got some garbage views. Like, it only been live a couple hours, but still, holy shit. Huge fan of Pumped Phil. See you tomorrow night. Uh, do to do we got the Hey Tevin. I think I saw that one earlier. Damn, a lot of these comments got deleted. Wow. Yeah, a bunch of comments got deleted. I think... I don't even have a capture right. I think this What Up Tevin, Get That Ass Ban, I think that one got deleted before I refreshed earlier. So yeah, he back on uh, back on his deleting shit. If that makes sense. But these still here. I don't understand. I don't understand him sometimes. I, I don't know. Whatever. I'm I'm fucking tired. I didn't plan on this video being an hour and 16 minutes long. I always lie to myself and be like, oh, it's going to be a short video. I'm a fucking asshole. I'm talking about DSP. And the video ended up being like five hours long. And I'm, I'm at the video like, yeah, with a dead face. <laughs> what in dead face the name of the Project 7 dude? Uh, um... But yeah, I'm done. And uh I guess I'll upload this like now. Yeah. Guess I'll do that. And I'll uh, I'll make sure to post my paragraph long comment complaining about something very specific. And uh <laughs> complaining about something very specific because that's what happened under my videos. But like I said, you can't really complain about it. That's it's kinda hiding it, it is. That's kind of how the internet is. You gotta find something to complain about. That's why I'm here. Right? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of sitting here, huh?